Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I have been on YouTube for over two years now. I think my first video was April 14th, 2020. And I feel like you guys don't know that much about me. I always get questions to do a chatty get ready with me. So that is what we're gonna be doing today. I asked you guys to send in some questions over on Instagram a couple of weeks ago. So I'm gonna be answering those today while doing my makeup. Um, actually, let's get ready to do that because I cannot do it with my hair and my face like this. Before I get into the questions, my skin is already prepped. I have the Fenty Hydrovisor on and then the Dr. Jart Ceramide and Eye Cream under my eyes. And then on my lips, I have the Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. I'm just gonna start off with some basic questions that some of you may know, but some of you may not. The first question is, how old are you? I am 26 years old. I didn't even wanna answer this, honestly. I feel like TikTok has made me feel so old, even though like realistically 26 is pretty young still, but I definitely feel like I'm going through a quarter life or midlife crisis or something. And I definitely should not feel that way at 26. I am so pale right now, I usually always have fake tan on, but I've been so lazy to do it, so I'm just gonna put some of this Hollywood Flawless filter on my neck, cause none of my foundations are as light as I naturally am, since I usually always have fake tan on. Next question is, did you go to university? If so, what did you study? So I did go to university. Um, I went to the University of Toronto and I studied architecture. Even though I graduated and I do have my degree, I don't know if it's something I'm gonna pursue. I just don't know if it's for me. It was not bringing me joy whatsoever. Um, I just remember trying to like finish my projects and they are a lot of work obviously but I would just get like panic attacks and anxiety attacks all the time um and I just figured you know this is not this is not worth how terrible and miserable it's making me feel and for a while after that I was kind of like freaking out because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life you know and I was already like 22 at that time I feel like there's so much pressure to have your life planned out by the time you're like 18. Um, so I was like really freaking out and I had no idea what to do. You know, I still don't at 26, but I'm just, I'm just taking things day by day at this point. So yeah, I'm just doing YouTube for now and seeing where that goes. The next question is, what else do you do besides social media? So I do have a full-time job. I am a bartender at like a restaurant, lounge, bar. I really enjoy bartending actually. It's been a lot of fun. I just started doing that um, up until like November. I was serving and then they moved me on bar. I just really like my workplace. Um, I love the people that I work with. I've made some of my best friends there. It's just very hard to create as much content as I wanna be creating while also working there like five times a week. Okay, I've been breaking out so much right here. I am so annoyed. Just when I thought it was getting better, I got like a few more breakouts. So we're just gonna try to cover those up. I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit so I get more coverage. While I do that, let's move on. Where are you from? I find you so beautiful and elegant. First of all, thank you, that's so sweet. I currently live in Toronto, but I am originally from Bulgaria. Um, my family moved here when I was four years old and even though I've lived here for like basically my whole life, I do still feel very like in touch with my Bulgarian roots because my parents would always like send me home to Bulgaria for like three months when I was a kid and I hated it at the time, but now I'm like pretty thankful they did it. I'm really happy I got to grow up that way. I think this is about as much coverage as I'm gonna get, so we're just gonna move on. Foundation is on, so the hoops are coming on as well. These are from Amazon, by the way. People ask me all the time where I got these. They are Pavoy Gold Hoops. These are amazing, you guys. I got them like a year ago and I've worn them like almost every single day and they still look really good. Okay, moving on. Would you wanna live anywhere else besides Toronto? For a while, I really wanted to live in LA. Like that was something I wanted so badly. But then I went there last year on a trip and like honestly, I don't know if it's for me. Sorry, setting spray break. I just didn't like the vibes. Um, I feel like 
all anyone cares about is clout. I mean, to be fair, that could just have been the people I was meeting. I don't know, I just hate the word influencer. I really prefer content creator, but I did meet a lot of content creators, I guess. And I don't know, even as a content creator myself, I feel like there's so many things I value so much more than clout. Like it really does not mean that much to me I, I at all. Um, but I feel like there it's literally all anyone cares about and like I really hated it Don't get me wrong like there's people in Toronto that are that way as well But I just feel like LA is so so much worse. I don't know. I don't know if I'm ever gonna move from Toronto I feel like I like it here. I'm pretty content. Um, next question is What is your horoscope sign if you believe in those? I love your content. I love you. Thank you for watching um, I am a Capricorn. It's not that I don't believe in it. It's just like I'm not really into it, I guess. I had a phase where I would like look at my horoscope for the day and like see what was in store for me. And I would always be like, oh my god, like that's crazy. That's so my life. But now that I'm looking back, it was like so vague. You know what I mean? It could really have applied to anyone. There are a lot of traits in a Capricorn that I think I have as well, but there's also a lot that I don't see in myself. So... That's maybe why I'm a little bit skeptical, I guess. Next question is, what are your hobbies? Um, I feel like I have no time these days. Like I said, I work five days a week. And then when I'm not working, I'm trying to like film, uh, I'm trying to film content for YouTube and TikTok. But for a while there, I was really into painting. I love to paint. I bought like a whole gouache set on Amazon. It's just so much fun. It's so therapeutic. I was also really into candle making for a while there. But honestly, I had to give that up because it was just getting so messy. Like I, I couldn't deal with it. And obviously, I just love to do makeup. It is definitely one of my hobbies. Even if I don't have to do it, I just enjoy doing it. Like creating new looks or like figuring out new techniques. If I do have any free time, I just like to throw on a good show and just relax a little bit. I'm currently re-watching Stranger Things because the new season's coming out and I do not remember what happened at all. It's been that long since their last season. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one sister. She is four years older than me. Her name is Aisha. She actually does content creation as well you can find her on tiktok right here go give her a follow people say we look alike all the time like they'll say we look like twins and like i obviously see a resemblance but, but i don't think we look that much alike what do you guys think are you planning to quit your day job to pursue youtube full time by the way love your videos love you thank you for watching Honestly, really appreciate all the support from you guys. It means the world to me. And without you, I wouldn't be able to quit my job to pursue YouTube full time. That being said, yes, I actually am planning on doing that. Um, makeup is my passion. It is what I love to do. I would love to have more time to actually do it instead of like, you know, have to be at work. But I feel like it's definitely gonna be such a bittersweet feeling. Because like I mentioned, I love the place that I work at. I love the people I work with. So it's definitely going to be a sad day. Quick thing, I'm just going to mix the Rare Beauty Blush with the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pillow Talk. I think this combo is so pretty. And also last time I used the Rare Beauty Blush in my video, I didn't love it because um, I applied it over powder and I feel like it just was looking really patchy and not great. But I've been doing it before powder and then just setting after and I think it looks so beautiful. I am obsessed with it. So I just wanted to clear that up. What do you like about content creating? Um, I like that I get to do what I'm passionate about. So makeup and fashion, that's obviously my favorite part. I also just really like getting to share like my little beauty tips with the world and getting to connect with my audience. I really love that. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. A lot of the time I'll get messages that say like, thank you so much, like you've helped me start you know doing my makeup more confidently or i had an event and i followed this tutorial and everyone loved it like i get comments like that and it genuinely makes me so happy um so that's definitely like 
also one of my favorite things about creating content. And then in terms of like it being a job, I feel like I really, I enjoy being able to like create my own schedule and like, I guess work for myself and not anyone else. I'm just gonna have to turn this into a beauty mark because it's just nothing, nothing is helping. I just broke my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless powder the other day, it literally, how sad is that? But I hate throwing away makeup, especially when it's like as expensive as this. So we're just gonna try to make that work. What made you want to start YouTube? I've been obsessed with like beauty YouTube since I was like in grade six or something. Do you guys remember Juicy Star 07? I loved her. I loved her so much. And she always talked about how much fun she had filming YouTube videos. So I think that's definitely what made me want to like get into it myself. <laughs> I actually filmed my first makeup tutorial when I was in grade eight. And I'm so glad that I never posted it. It was honestly horrendous. And then I tried again in grade nine. I actually filmed too with the help of my best friend and I ended up posting them and then my friend was dating this guy and one day, you know how back, back in like the day, no one actually used their name as like their YouTube channel name. It was always like Juicy Star 07 or Mac Barbie. So I had obviously come up with a really embarrassing YouTube name. I'm gonna share it with you guys even though I'm so embarrassed. So I had made my YouTube name Pretty in Plank. I don't know if MAC even has this lipstick still, but it was like this beautiful pink shade called Plank. And I just thought I was so clever and creative. And so that's what I had made my name. And at the time, my best friend was dating this guy. And I guess she had told him about the YouTube video that we had filmed together. It was just me filming it and then like her helping me with the camera and stuff. I also used her camera, but I guess she told him about it. And then one day he saw me in the hallway and he looks at me and he goes, hey, pretty in plank. And when I tell you, my heart dropped. I went home and I deleted it instantly. I was like, no one can know about this. No one can find out about this. If they do, like they will just never let me live it down. So I deleted them. They were honestly pretty embarrassing. So it's probably for the best. But you know, I feel like everything happens for a reason and I'm thankful to be where I'm at today. When did your passion for makeup start? I have loved makeup since I can even remember. Do you guys remember those like children's makeup sets? And it was like literally the worst quality makeup, but yeah, I had so many of those. I loved them. So it definitely started at a very young age, but I didn't start like actually doing like full makeup on myself until like grade eight. My mom would not let me. I actually remember for my grade eight graduation, I went all out. I followed this Michelle Fan makeup tutorial. It was like this like pink and like purple smoky eye. It actually looked pretty good for my skills at the time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Next question is, can you vlog more? I definitely can. I just feel like I'm literally always at work. And if I'm not at work, I'm here like trying to film stuff. So my life is not very interesting, but I definitely do want to get into vlogging more often. So I'm definitely going to try to do that. I have a couple of trips also planned out for the next couple of months. So I will be vlogging those or at least trying to. Okay, next question is, what is your favorite nude lip combo? Um, I feel like this changes like every few months for me, but for the past couple of months, it's been the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner. It is just so amazing on my skin tone, whether I'm like tan or not, it just always looks good. Same thing goes for the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Kim KW. Just always looks good no matter what lip liner I use, no matter if I'm tan or not. That shape I just did with my eyebrow was so ridiculous. What even is that? Definitely those two. And then I've really been loving the Too Faced um, Lip Injection Maximum Plump as a lip gloss right now. It just makes my lips look so, so big. The next question is, what is your favorite eye palette? 
Um, again, I feel like this changes all the time. I feel like currently it is the Patrick Ta, mm, not my fingers all over it, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension Rose Palette. What's the actual name? Major Dimension 2 Eyeshadow Palette. But that being said, I am gonna be going in with this one today. I actually have been thinking of doing like a three looks, one palette kind of video using this palette. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing that. I'm also gonna do like a pink soft glam look though. I'm gonna do that for next week. So I'm gonna be using this in like three videos. So I don't know if like the three looks, one palette video is something you guys would still wanna see. That's gonna be like six different looks with this palette alone. Okay, the next question is, why don't you like colorful looks? Um, it's not that I don't like colorful looks. I do love colorful looks. I love seeing them on other people. I don't know why I think I just don't look good in like colorful looks. I love like a nice neutral look. Although I feel like these pinks are kind of, you know, spicing up my makeup, getting a little colorful. But I actually do want to start playing around with some color for the summertime. I feel like that would be really cute. Nothing too crazy, you know, just like a pop of like pink or blue or purple here and there. I just want to take a moment to talk about how amazing this brush is. This is the BK Beauty 208 brush and it is the best eyeliner brush I have ever, ever tried. It's so good. Like I used to be obsessed with the Inglot brush, but this one, it's just a game changer. Um, the next question is, okay, sorry, this is a little hard to do. Okay, the next question is, have you ever had any work done? Um, I have veneers, which you guys know, because I did a whole video on them. I do have veneers, but that is like the only work I've had done. I don't, that should count though. Like it's something I've changed about myself. And it's actually so funny because I have people comment all the time asking me if I have lip filler or just making like rude comments about me having lip filler. And it kills me because I haven't had any lip filler and I feel like my bottom lip is so much bigger than my top lip. I feel like that's what throws people off. But yeah, I'll always be like, oh, I don't have lip filler, but like, thanks or whatever. I literally had this girl be like, yeah, and the Kardashians don't have BBLs. I'm very open about what I've had done, like the veneers, like I would never try to hide that from anyone. But I also think it's flattering. Like you just think my lips are so nice. They just can't be real. Thank you. God, my back is killing me. I should not feel this way at 26. Okay, next question is kind of similar. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I cannot do that while talking. You know what, I think I kind of want to extend this into the rest of my eye. So let's go back in with that palette. So the next question is, would you ever get injectables? I'm actually just gonna replicate what I did here, here, and then I'm gonna get back and answer the question just because I don't wanna like move on to mascara and not have anything on this eye. As you can see, I already have mascara and lashes on, but I'm gonna do it for you guys on this eye. Would you ever get injectables? I definitely would. I've actually been thinking about actually getting lip filler in my top lip. Um, like I mentioned, my bottom lip's a lot bigger and I just wish they were a little bit more even. Not crazy, like I'd still want the bottom to be bigger, but I just wish it was just like a little bit more plump. Um, I'm just a little bit worried because I feel like it's very rare to see like nice natural lip filler. A lot of the time I feel like it can look a little bit puffy above your lip and I just, I really don't like that look. No shade to anyone if that's what you like and how you like it to look. I just want a little bit more of a natural lip and I feel like it's so hard to find an injector who can do it so naturally, you know what I mean? I also would like to get Botox eventually. I want some in my forehead, like probably sooner rather than later. I want some in my forehead just for a little bit of a brow lift. Maybe even like a lip flip. I know they do that with Botox. I feel like that might look a little bit more natural than lip filler, but still give me that like more defined upper lip that I want. If you guys haven't watched my um, everyday glam get ready with me, go watch that because I show you guys how to do this lash trick and it is honestly the best lashes I have ever worn. I just think they look so good, I am obsessed. Before we do lips, I'm just gonna bronze my face because I realized I forgot to do that. Guess I just got a little too chatty and got carried away. I'm not going too crazy with it, just wanna 
sharpen up that contour a little bit. The next question is, how are your teeth so white? They're veneers. They are not real teeth. That is how. <laughs> what are your go-to spa slash clinic sessions? Mm, wait, I don't know if I like this lip liner. I do not think this is dark enough. Um, you know what? That's okay, we're gonna make it work. I definitely recommend laser hair removal. Okay, talking and do- okay, wow, I just totally messed up everything. I definitely don't recommend talking and lining your lips. I definitely recommend laser hair removal. It's honestly changed my life. It's the best investment ever. I actually haven't gotten it done in a couple of years. I want to go and get a few more sessions. I'm just gonna go over this lip liner with a darker one because I'm just, I feel like this is too light. And every few months I try to get a hydrodermabrasion facial. It's basically just like a hydrofacial, but it's a little bit more intense because they like inject a serum into your skin at the same time. Just like really hydrate your skin and clear out any like gunk and stuff like that. I'm really struggling with my skin though. So if you guys have any recommendations for me, let me know down in the comments. The next question is, why are you so offline? I feel like I'm not, like I post on Instagram. Okay, no, I really don't post on Instagram. I post like a story maybe a couple times a month. Maybe that's what they mean. I feel like a lot of influencers post like a thousand stories a day. I just feel like I don't have that much to post. You know what I mean? Like I'm either um, working or working. So there's not that much going on in my life, but I do feel like a lot of influencers definitely kind of romanticize their lives a lot more than I do. Like they'll just post about the simple everyday things in life, like what they're having for breakfast. I think I need to get better at doing that. Um, it's not like I want to be so offline. I just feel like I don't have that much to post about. Okay, I do have like 10 more questions left, but I'm already done my makeup. So I think I'm just gonna answer one more and then maybe save the rest for another video. Okay, I do still have to turn this into a beauty mark because it's just driving me crazy. The last question for today's video is, you are so pretty, do you feel that way all the time or do you also face insecurities? First of all, thank you, thank you so much. I definitely do face insecurities, I think everyone does. Like when I do my makeup and my hair and I have my full glam on, I feel so good about myself, I feel so confident, but because my skin has been breaking out as much as it has been, when my makeup's off, I don't feel that way at all. I feel very insecure and I think everyone, no matter who it is, like even Kim Kardashian, which is like the beauty standard, has so many insecurities. Not, not that I am comparing myself to her in any way, but you know what I mean? I think we all look at people and we think, oh my gosh, this person's so beautiful, but they for sure have their own insecurities and I think that's just a part of life. Like I don't think there's anyone that isn't insecure about something, you know? And it's not just my skin. I have so many insecurities. Like um, some people look at me and they think, wow, like you have an amazing body. Like I love your body, but I think I'm too skinny. Like I wish I could gain a little bit of weight. Like I think I'm way too thin or like my hip dips. I have hip dips and I'm trying to, I've always hated them. You know, I just wish I had like a curvy body but I don't and I'm trying to embrace that and see the beauty in that. So I don't know if this is gonna sound stupid, but I love Bella Hadid. I think she is just the most perfect person in the world. And sometimes I'll see pictures of her and she has hip dips and I think, wow, she's so beautiful. She's so perfect. She has hip dips, so do I. Why do I hate mine? But I think she looks so beautiful and perfect. You know, it's just like things like that that I feel like help me feel a little bit less insecure about these little things on myself that I hate but other people would probably not even like think twice about you know nobody is perfect no matter how much work they get done no matter how much makeup they wear you're still gonna feel those insecurities so I think the best thing to do is to try and start loving them you know and that is all for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video it's so different than anything I've ever filmed I feel like I'm always doing like tutorials and like sharing beauty tips and tricks and never really talking about myself so it was definitely nice to be able to do that i feel like i definitely have a hard time doing that and like showing my personality on camera so i really enjoyed filming this i hope you guys enjoyed watching it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a lot feel free to leave me a comment down below i love chatting with you guys in the comments like i mentioned it's one of my favorite things about content creation is just getting to like 
know you guys and chat with you guys. If you like this vibe, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye!